very uncharacteristic of one of your units to have six penalties. What do you think went wrong? Uh, it's a lot of stuff. You know, uh, we knew that crew threw a lot of penalties. Um, but you just, you know, you just can't do it. Offsides or holding, two holding penalties. And I, and I, can, I can deal with those, you know, effort penalties. But the, you know, legal shift and, uh, you know, holding penalty at the line of scrimmage that wasn't necessary, like stuff like that. That's just, it's, it's hard enough to win games in this league to beat your opponent. You can't over, overcome yourself and then try and beat your opponent. So it's obviously it's a point of emphasis all the time, but, uh, you know, especially this week, you know, after we had that, that type of performance. How do you fix stuff like that? How do you make sure that it doesn't happen again? Well, in the moment, you know, you got to coach it better, right? You got to drill it better. You got to uh, overemphasize certain things that are not being executed. Um, you know, as far as a legal shift, get up to the line, get set. It's really simple. Like, it's, it ain't that hard, you know. Uh, holding, schematically, we can do some things better to put our, our long snapper in a better position where he doesn't have to hold. You know, that's something I can do. Uh, but just little small, those little small details, just make sure you just tighten the screws on everything. You know what I mean? And you feel like things are getting loose, you just got to tighten the screws, and that's it. And it's execution under pressure. Got to execute, right? Got to do a better job on our path going to the punter, right? We can't run right down the middle of them. We got to either veer off to the left or veer off to the right. It's just, you know, just details of your job. You just got to do a better job. A Dory back there, um, I, the you know, Michael Dixon's a really good punter. Uh, he hits a variety of balls. Uh, it's just, you know, you you want to make sure that the guy back there uh, feels comfortable, and you know, it's just we, we made a decision, put him back there, and you know, it's 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 just tough. Michael Dixon is the leading punter in the league right now. He's averaging almost 55 yards a punt, and again, he has those variety of punts, so it makes it tough one. Coach, are you going back with Eric? Yeah, he'll be back. Eric will be back. It's, it's a little strange of. Because from what we see, Adore, you know, you have guys back there every day catching punts mm -hmm. during the special teams portions, and Adore is not one of those guys. He does it. I mean, he's done, he does it from time to time. He's done it enough in his career to where we feel comfortable putting him back there. Uh, but we have a bunch of guys back there catching punts every day because you just never know. That's just, you know, you always want to have options, you know, as the game moves forward. As the year moves forward, you have injuries, you have all kind of things that happen. So you always have a, have a bunch of guys back there catching punts. But he catches them after practice. He catches them all the time. Were they the right decisions, the ones he let bounce? Because obviously if they bounce the other direction, right. then you're going to say, yeah, it was the right, right. When they roll inside the five, it's going right. to look like that. It's, it's tough because, you know, we were pressuring him and he was inconsistent, right? So, again, his ball, when it hits the ground, it – averages probably 10, 15 yards of roll yards like Tress Way. You know, those guys are hard. It's difficult because you're playing him at 50 yards, 54 yards, and he hits it 40 or he hits it 42. And the ball, you know, and it's hard. Then then you have a gunner that's coming down the field, a jammer that's coming down the field. You don't want to run up, make a bad decision. You know, it's 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 a double-edged sword, you know. So it's, it was just kind of one of those deals, perfect storm, you know. Overall. What have you thought of your guys' special teams performance? The PFF ratings have you guys last, but what, what have you thought just personally? About you know, to, to be honest with you, I don't take a lot of stock into the PFF rating. You, um, you know, we started off slow, and then I think we had those two games in there, we could start to pick it up a little bit, and then we just took a step back. You know, so again, we've been kind of on this roller coaster ride, and we got to make sure that we're continuously getting better. You know, that's the that's the mantra of our room anyway. It's, 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 the, it's the act of continuous improvement, right? So we just got to make sure we just keep getting better. How much better do you need to play as a unit in this whole new concept of complementary football mm -hmm. in order to help this team dig itself out? Yeah, it's not, it's not a new concept. It's something that we did all last year. Uh, it's something that we've done uh, when we've had success, you know, and that's any football team. You, you have to play complementary football. And you got to be one phase has to help the other one, even when the other one's down, you know. So, you know, kickoff return, punt return, offense, defense, turnovers, all those things have to work as one. And, and that's just something we have to do a better job but as a group and as a unit uh, and as a team. We just got to play better complementary football. Do you think Gray looks comfortable and natural back Yeah, there? absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, you look at the first four games, I mean, he's, he made every 
good decision you can make. I mean, and he filled the ball well. So, I mean, it's, again, Michael Dixon is different. Like he's an Australian punter that can hit the ball a bunch of different ways. You hit the ball nose up and it's spinning, it's just a funky spin, and he has a very powerful leg. That's why he's the number one gross punter in the league right now. I mean, it's just, that's what it is. We're, we're talking about one play with a rookie. I mean, that's, <laughs> rookies make mistakes sometimes. I mean, I, last time I checked, Peyton Manning, I think he had like 35 picks as a rookie in, in the National Football League. So young players make mistakes, but he'll be fine. You mentioned the uneven performances. How much pressure do you feel from the head coach with that, you know, through four games? Pressure, that comes with the job. Like, that's pressure wearing this. Like, that's, <laughs> that just comes with the job. I don't, pressure's my friend. You know, I, mean, I keep it right here in my back pocket. I, I don't, pressure don't bother me. I mean, that's just. more like, is he on your back? He's always on my ass. That's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, that's part of the job. Like, I'm, I'm good with that. Like, I have no issue. Like, the pressure part of this, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Because you wouldn't want it any, like, I wouldn't want to be in any other place and they don't give it, you know, they don't care. You know what I mean? Like, you want to be here in New York. You want the pressure of being the best. You want the pressure of just trying to be at your absolute best. That's that's why we do this. Like, we don't do it just to be average. I don't show up here just to be just some average coach playing on some average team in an average market. I had a choice to come here to New York. I made that choice. I, I knew exactly what I was getting into. You know what I mean? So I, I love it. It doesn't bother me at all. How, how, does, it, how does the decision to, to take Eric out of that and you know give him a reprieve from what you're saying from Dixon, how does that decision get made? Does Dave's come to you or do you? It's, it's, you know, the decision was made. I mean, regardless how it happens, you know, it's, it's just something we're doing for the betterment of the team and uh, just to make sure that, you know, we get the ball back. And that's, you know, at the end of the day, that's, I tell guys, I tell guys all the time. I mean, punt return, the most important thing is we know we're getting the ball back. And that's what we need to do. T-Mac, in, uh, in regards to Evan Neal, if the pressure becomes too much one day for somebody, especially a young guy, how as a coach do you recenter him and how does the team recenter itself? You know, it, I don't, I'm not going to speak for Evan. I'll just speak in general. Uh, you know, you just, you have to understand where you are and, and what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, we know what we signed up for. This is pro football. Fans are going to say things. Like, that's, that's part of it. The, my son is getting his Twitter blown up. My oldest son, because he has the same last name as me, right? And then my other son has a podcast. So it, it's, trust me, I, it's the media part of it, and I understand it. It's, you know, you just got to tune everything. The outside noise is outside noise. And it has nothing to do with what goes on inside the building. There was a play well, I didn't on. understand mm -hmm. where I think it was a punt coverage and Cam Brown came down late and I, I think he knocked the return guy over and there was no penalty. I'm thinking it was going to be, you know, unnecessary roughness. No, you don't remember? Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't remember. was standing around the ball. He was, the returner was lingering, hoping one of you guys would touch it so he could pick it up and Cam just wiped him out. Oh, the first touch, because the whistle hadn't blown. <laughs> I mean, that's, if you go in there and, and, you know, the whistle hadn't blown, you're still fair game, right? So you go in there and try and get the ball. That's just part of it. So is that just knock him, maybe he falls on the ball and it's loose? And, and we maybe we get it. You know what I mean? Probably wasn't a smart thing by him to do.